Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Okay, honestly, I don't even know what to say anymore. Literally, I'm at a loss for words. I've spent the entire day going over a ton of data. And, um, it just don't make no sense. Hey, what's this little bu bugger over here? It looks like an eye. It looks like an eye. Oh, this ring nebula. Venus, after two months, is finally turning the corner. Our little lens flare is moving off in accordance, as Astro said. But now, we got this, which I'm sure someone or some people or a group will make a debunk video debunking what if this is. I should put up like a WTF. Is a ring nebula entering our solar system? You know? And the thing that really tripped me up was, so on this groovy little stereo site, we go to what planets are currently visible. We're going to scroll down through Venus. Venus is visible. This is not a planet. So, we go over here to the, we're going to go over here to the solar system scope, and we're going to endure their music. It's like we're floating. Imagine yourself floating on the beach. Yeah, that's right. You're floating on the sand like you were a land speeder. Okay, so that would make it either Eris, UB313, or Uranus, or another red herring satellite camera artifact, which would make NASA like Lucy and me like Charlie Brown. Either way, I'm not smiling. I did a bunch of research and came up with way more WTFs than I even wanted to think about, man. What if everything we've been, what if everything we've been told is lies? And I mentioned the video I did a while back, a couple weeks ago about Uranus, that it was initially suggested that Uranus was a giant comet, and that if it is, this is me speculating, but if it is an electric universe, then maybe it's been electrified. And who knows? Maybe it's Eris. I checked back. The last time Eris was in this position, the little ice age started. So who knows? The only thing I know is our sun has been freaking out, acting weird, and seemingly shedding a lot of mass. Feel go kicking planets out of its solar womb furnace for a couple weeks now. Take your pick, man. Is it Uranus? Is it Eris? Is it a red herring? Lens artifact, or none of the above. I don't know. I really don't. All I know is it looks like a ring nebula. Hey, guess what's at the center of a ring nebula? Often, a neutron star. Am I suggesting it's a neutron star? Hell no. Because we all know no danger could ever come from space. Eris's orbit. Its highly eccentric orbit takes Eris up to over three times as far from the sun as Pluto. Apart from the long period comets, Eris and its moons are currently the most distant known natural objects in the solar system. Yeah, which is kind of weird because Eris is 95 astronomical units away from Pluto, and their Hubble photographs look about the same size. You'll need some Wall Street calculators to break that one down for me.